What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve for exterior angles, right? And there's basically two different ways that we can do this. One is using supplementary angles, and the other one is using this exterior angles theorem, right? So I'm gonna show you both ways because depending on your homework or test or whatever, one method might be a lot better than the other. So first of all, let's start with supplementary angles. Okay, so as you can see, we have this triangle right here gives us two of the angles, right? 75 degrees and 64 degrees. And we don't know this angle right here. I'll just call it X for now, okay? And then we're trying to figure out what this angle is out here. Okay, so one way that I could figure this out is again using supplementary angles. And supplementary angles are just two angles that add up to 180 degrees. And they always happen at straight lines, right? So for example, if I added up uh, this X right here and this exterior angle out here, if I added these two up, you can see they're along this straight line, right? So they form a 180 degree angle when you add them up together. Okay, so in order to figure out what X is over here, all you need to know is that all the angles inside of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. It doesn't matter what type of triangle you have, they always add up to 180 degrees, right? So if I added up these three numbers, 75, 64, and then this missing one, they should add up to 180 degrees, right? So 75 plus 64 plus X degrees should equal 180, right? So then to solve for X right here, we can just uh, subtract 75 and 64 from this side, right? And move it onto this side. So we're gonna have X is equal to 180 degrees minus 75 minus 64. Okay, so then here X is going to be equal to 41 degrees. Okay, so we just figured out what this angle is, right? It's 41 degrees, 41 degrees. Okay, so again, this angle right here, the 41 degrees and this exterior angle out here are supplementary. So if I add them up together, they should add up to 180 degrees. So then 41 plus this missing angle, uh, which is labeled as two, that's kind of confusing though, right? Let's just label this as Y, right? So then Y, so 41 plus Y is equal to 180 degrees. So then to solve for Y right here, right? Subtract 41 from both sides, subtract 41. So then we get Y is equal to 180 minus 41, which is equal to 139. Okay, so then this angle right here is equal to 139 degrees. All right, so that was the first method that you can use. Now, the second method is using this theorem right here, the exterior angles theorem. And it just says, whenever you add up the interior angles over here, they add up to this exterior angle over here. All right, as long as the two angles that it gives you is not next to the one that you're trying to find out here. So as you can see, the two angles over here that it gives us are not next to, it's not touching, it's not supplementary to this angle right here that we're trying to find, right? So that means we can use this theorem. Okay, so again, all you have to do is add up these two and it should add up to the angle that's out here. So 75 plus 64 is equal to 139 degrees. Okay, so then that means this angle out here is 139 degrees. Okay, so we got the exact same answer as we did with the very first method, right? But again, this method only works if the two angles that you're given are not touching, they're not next to, they're not supplementary with this angle, this exterior angle that we're trying to find. Okay, so for example, let's say this 64 degrees wasn't here. Let's say this wasn't a given, right? Let's get rid of that there. And let's say instead that the 64 degrees was right here. Okay, so if the problem was set up like this, then we can't use this exterior angles theorem because the angle that it's giving us, that it's given, is next to the angle that we're trying to find. Okay, so if the problem was set up like this, you would definitely have to use the first method just trying to use supplementary angles, right? But that wasn't the case in this problem, right? So that's why we can use the exterior angles theorem. And for the other few examples that I'm gonna go over, we're gonna use the exterior angles theorem for all of them. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward, right? So let's go to this next example right here. So uh, 16, right? So we have two angles right here, so x degrees and 45 degrees, and then this uh, angle out here, 2x minus two. So as you can see, the two angles that it gives us right here are not next to this exterior angle right here, right? So again, we can use the exterior angles theorem. Okay, so again, that just says that the two angles on the inside, when you add them up, should equal this angle on the outside. 
Okay, so if we do x plus 45 degrees, that should equal this one out here, 2x minus 2. 2x minus 2. Okay, so we're trying to isolate the x's on one side of the equation. So let's move this x over here. All right, so we're going to do that by subtracting. So subtract x from here, and what we do to one side, we do to the other, right? So we'll subtract x from here also. And then uh, these x's cancel out. So then over here, we have 2x minus x, which is equal to 1x, right? So then we're left with 45, right? Positive 45 is equal to 1x, or we could just write that as x, minus 2. Okay, and then we'll get rid of this minus 2 by moving it to the other side. So add 2 to both sides, right? So then these cancel out. So then we're left with x is equal to 45 plus 2, which is equal to 47. All right, so now that we know what x is equal to, the easy way to solve this would just be plugging it straight into the exterior angle, the 2x minus 2 over here. But I'm actually going to plug it into the interior angles and then add them up just so I can show you that you'll still get the same answer either way. All right, so x is equal to 47 degrees. All right, so that means this angle right here is 47 degrees. Okay, so now that we know our two interior angles right here, again, we can just add those up, 47 plus 45, and it should equal this angle out here. So 47 plus 45 is equal to 92, right? So then this angle out here is equal to 92 degrees. Okay, and if we wanna check our answer right here, right? X is equal to 47 degrees. We can just plug this into this little equation right here. And again, it should be equal to 92 degrees, right? So let's, uh, write it over here. So 2x minus 2 should be equal to 92, right? So let's plug in what we got for x. So we got 2 times 47 minus 2 is equal to 92, right? So 2 times 47, that's equal to 94. Okay, so then we get 94 minus 2 is equal to 92. So then we get 92 is equal to 92, right? So we got the correct answer for our x because our equation balances out, right? Checks out. Okay, and I'm gonna scroll down a little bit for this next one. So, uh, number 17, all right. So again, we have our two interior angles right here, right? 24 and 2x plus 18. So when we add these up, they should equal this exterior angle right here. So we're gonna do 24 plus 2x plus 18 and that should be equal to our exterior angle, 3x plus six. So the first thing you always wanna do is try and get your x's on the same side. So we have a two x over here, positive two x, right? So we'll subtract two x from this side, and what we do to one side of the equation, we do to the other, okay? So then uh, these cancel out, and then on the left side over here, we're left with 24 plus 18, and that's equal to 42. Okay, so we got 42, and then that's uh, equal to, Right, equal to 3x minus 2x, which again is just equal to 1x, which we can write as just x like that, and then plus 6. All right, so then to solve for x right here, we'll subtract 6 from both sides. Okay, these cancel out. So then we get x is equal to 42 minus 6, which is equal to 36. All right, cool. So we got x is equal to 36. So again, now that we know what x is equal to, the easy way would just be plugging it in straight into the exterior angle, the 3x plus 6. But I'm going to plug it into these interior angles one more time, just so I can prove to you one last time that adding these up will get you the same answer. So then uh, we'll plug in a 36 for x right there. So then we can figure out what this angle is over here. Okay, so then we'll have 2 times 36 plus 18. So 2 times 36, that's equal to 72. So we got 72 plus 18, which is equal to 90. Okay, so then this angle right here is a right angle, actually. This is a 90 degree angle, right? So we got 90 degrees right here, 24 degrees up here. So again, we just have to add these two up to figure out what our exterior angle is out here, right? So we can do 24 plus 90, and that's equal to 114, okay? So then this angle right here is equal to 114 degrees. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.